What is up? My name is Kion, and this is Rarity Reviews. What we do on Rarity Reviews is we review a tech, a mountain bike product, and any outdoor gadget, but today we are going to add on to the ski bike. Now, I did break the ski, the front ski, a while ago, so we are going to twist it up a little bit and actually put a snowboard on it. Got a snowboard that I just bought. It was only eight dollars. You see that? Eight dollars. And it's like all sun rotted and stuff. I got it from the DI, but yeah, we broke our front ski on the front of this. Put some other stuff on it. I found these brackets. These brackets were from a truck mount, a truck bumper mount. I'm gonna use those trying to put them on the front so we don't have to use that wood. The sharp edge of the wood, that actually snapped the ski because the wood was right here and the ski came from the bottom and when it did hit a rock, it just pretty much just tore the thing off of it. I mean, it stayed on but it snapped the ski right here at this edge because it's such a sharp edge that when you hit a rock, it's just gonna bend up from there. You need to mount them forward like this. So we're gonna have we're gonna have this up here, and then we're gonna have a curve up front because this has a curve on it. The back half of it's totally fine, but we're gonna have this to mow everything down. So we're gonna try putting this on first. We're gonna cut half of it off, about a third of it, and then we're gonna mount it to it actually up front. Basically we're gonna cut about right there, and we'll have all of this front. Now we need that, the axle to fit through there. So in the end, this is what I thought of. Um, we are going to put this axle through those holes. I might have to drill those a little bit bigger. There's holes right down in these brackets. And we're gonna bolt these to this, and this won't be here. It'll just be this and a couple other stuff. But we're gonna basically just take one of these and put one right here so we can mount this bracket to the wood through the board and then we can mount this one through the board to the bracket so we'll have two right here and right there yeah I'm gonna cut it right here so it'll be right in front of this and if you're wondering how long this is it is it's about 39 inches 39 inches <laughs> wow. Hopefully that will work. I think it looks pretty good. The front might be a little too far to turn those, but we might shape the back of it too. All right, uh, it's been a day, so it gave me a little time to think about what I was actually gonna do with it. So, what we have right here is actually, woo. So we have a middle pipe. This is the same diameter as the axle. 
So we're gonna use that. We're gonna put the axle through that and we're gonna put it. Oh. <laughs> Metal piece! But we're gonna actually put it through here. We did round that out a little bit. And we bought a file. Went to the hardware store too. So we bought a file, filed that out in there. And I decided to actually grind these pieces off because they're kind of in the way, that one and this one. So I'm gonna grind those off right now so we can have more space to work with. But yeah, so far we haven't really put anything together. This, I'm gonna use this heater wire too, also, so it doesn't move around as much. And we got some rubber grommets to put in between the metal piece and this part so it is a better fit. So we will set that up and grind those off. Okay, usually this has a guard, but I'm gonna take it off for now because I can't see what I'm doing. But usually it has a guard, so we're gonna have to grind this one off and that one off to get Now, since we got those off, now what we're gonna do is drill holes in the bottom part. This is the bottom. That's the top, apparently. Uh, we're gonna drill holes through the bottom of it. We're gonna have to drill holes right here and right about here. So we can actually attach it to the snowboard. Okay, we're gonna drill bit just a little bit bigger than the screws we're gonna be using. So just put it back right by it, measure it out just for a little bit so we can go over for a reference and I'm gonna put a little bit of cutting oil on the bit. Alright, we got it. I don't know how hard it is, it's gonna be real through that because it has a top side too. I mean, put forth to that. What I have done, I have actually measured these out so they fit the holes down here. And they fit the holes on the bottom of this one and this one. So they fit right there. A little over four and a half. Alright, now we got it. So we have this side. So one and a half. Cut into it. Oh, that's not good. Oh well, these are scratched up. Okay, what is happening? Oh, whoa. Dude, that's awesome. I just cut through like nothing. All right, I just figured it out. Um, I cut this to size. I cut a little bit shorter so we could actually fit stuff in it. Um, I mean, like, not even a fourth of an inch. But, and then I cut this heat hose. So I had enough for the grommet. That's, 
that's what it looks like. We've got grommets on the outside and heat tube on the inside. We're gonna raise these forks up. And it's just, just a screw. Some hex keys for tiny. But we measured where I wanted this. I measured that out. And then now I'm going to cut that to length so it fits just perfect. So what I did is I took the back of the snowboard, I cut these angles a little bit off and so it looked more round and then I just spray painted, spray painted it black, all this black. I did mark out those holes before I did so I drilled a little bit into them. I just covered them with tape and then I did a teeny bit of black on the bottom. I wouldn't recommend doing this to the bottom but I just decided a little bit because it started dripping it started dripping down this side so I just spray paint a little bit all right day three is <laughs> feels like it's turning into a survival situation but day three this should be the last day but all we have to do is pretty much attach the ski to the board Got these smaller ones. Yeah, these smaller ones that are actually, they might work. It's just a hex head instead.
first test. That's the only bad thing is it hits it right there. Somehow stop this from coming up like that, or else something bad will happen. Stop for it. So what we did, you basically saw what we did. We just drilled a hole and made that. So this thing would not flip over too far, and it'd actually stop right there. That took a while, but we got it. Cheap snow bike that just just make out of wood and some scrap metal. <laughs> and then on these things, I had no clue what I was gonna do with these joints. But it does wiggle a little bit. But that's all right. It's a ski bike, all right. We're slowly losing snow, so I gotta get this thing out. It's supposed to snow next week, so maybe I'll do a video on it next week and demonstrate the new and improved version two. Whoa! Yeah, thank you guys for watching. This is gonna be an edit and a half. Thank you guys for watching, and yes, tune in for me testing this out and maybe some other people. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Leave a comment, anything, any questions about it, I'll answer them if you want. And yeah, thank you again. Subscribe, like the video, and as always, think positive, stay happy. Later!